Hello everybody and welcome back to Sable where I am actually recording in my car right now. I have run away to escape the never-ending winter storm and cold of central Utah. And I'm in southern Utah working my way towards Death Valley. Um, but I have decided to attempt to play this game. I am playing with a controller though because it's much easier to do on when I'm in the car and I don't really have a place to put my mouse. What was that? Anyway, I'm just, I remember what we were doing. I, it's been a while since I've played and you'll have, wait, what? Oh, did I? Maybe I don't remember. Did I Did I actually finish this? I must have. Oh my gosh, I'm so angry. If I had, if I didn't, like those were, those were there? I did all that puzzling? Hang on, I gotta look now. Where? Oh my gosh, they're gonna make me do it again? What? Okay, I will edit this out. Dang, I saved and everything. I did a lot of effort. No. Fiddly. I was like, I swear I didn't. I swear I did two of them. Well, I'll find the two that I know about and then I will... They were both over here, I think. Um, so I'll pick back up where we left off. Oh, okay, well at least this puzzly bit is done on this one. That's good, that's good. Oh, I guess I will say, um, the audio might be really bad. I am using, I did bring my mic, so my, my, my Yeti mic is with me, and I am using it. <laughs> um, but that bird, what the heck? Um, my car is running, because I have to have my car running in order to have my laptop running, uh, without it dying within 15 minutes. Um, and obviously the laptop is doing a lot of work right now, so its fans are going crazy. Um, and... Yeah, so it's kind of get the hum of the car and the hum of the laptop. Um, also, I'm just really hoping this works because sometimes the uh, the converter I have um, kind of stops charging for a second. It'll like I don't know if it like it gets like overpowered or something for a second. So for a brief second, it'll stop. But that usually makes things stutter whenever I'm doing anything else. Like if I'm trying to, for instance, play Overwatch, which is a big ask, honestly. But if I'm trying to play Overwatch on this, with, with this current setup in my car, um, it will stutter the game a lot because it like stops charging. And so then the game is running on its own battery and it's like, Bleh, you know, doesn't like that. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> um... Hopefully this recording works because I think it's going to probably do that a little bit where it's going to stutter a bit and I hope it just doesn't, you know, make everything fall apart because it's like, Bleh. and I'm like, no, please. <laughs> Alright, so I am looking for this third one now, which I, I have no idea where it is. I know I've, I've been up here, I know, but...
Aha! It's over here. I was like, surely it has to be close. Oh no, this is actually a problem. Not the frame skipping, which I'm afraid is going to be a thing, I guess. Um, but the matter of me being able to get this back without dropping it. Let's see if I can... Did it oh, stay over there? Sweet! I was like, I don't even know if this is the right <laughs> way to go, but it is! I'm a puzzle genius. Aw, oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe I won't. Ooh, jeez, that was... Dang it. I didn't see that. This might not be the way to go, honestly. I was really hoping the in-the-car thing would work. Because I can't record. And like, a, you know... Oh, what do you call it, um... Like a laundromat or anything. <laughs> Oh, well. Like while I'm plugged into an actual power source. Like a consistent one. I've kind of looked into a better power converter. Oops, better, better power converters. Um, but I honestly don't know if it'll make much of a difference. Like, I mean, this is a fairly cheapy one, but... Oh, snap! Secrets! <gasps> Ooh! It's awkward to wear, but hard to take your clothes off of. Mo monumental stone top. Oh my gosh, we are putting that on. Just to see. Okay. I don't think it does anything. Also, um, in the, I don't know, hopefully it's not too noticeable, but in the record, one of the recordings, some, some of them, I don't know. Um, I had night light on, which I think may have messed with the way the colors were done in the game. Uh, I usually keep the night light on on my own laptop, um, just because I, yeah, it, it hurts my eyes if I stare at it too long, so the night light helps, like, keeping it kind of, kind of yellows the screen. Oh, it glows! Okay, okay, okay. Um, so it helps, yeah, keep the... the glare down, I guess, with the night with the nightlight yellowing of the screen. Um, but it probably did change, just because I'm recording straight from the laptop, and not just, like, recording off of a des desktop right now. It probably did, um... mess with things a bit. But, who knows, uh, I do think quite, no, no, we want to do, yes, which, there we go, I have so many dots, let's see, is it gonna, so there's that that I did, that's cool, well there's whatever that is, and whatever that is, did I go over there? Oh no, but that does look kind of serpent-like almost. Let's go over there! I really should do the main quest, but here we are. This is not the way out. It is the way out. Also, I'm sure that that's very loud and I do apologize. Oh good, now these actually do something. I realized in the recordings when I was editing that it is actually kind of an abrupt sound to do that floating thing. Um, and do it over and over again it doesn't bother me. I can't hear it very well when I'm, like, I'm doing the recording. But in the editing, I was like, holy cow, that's loud. <laughs> so, um, south is, oh, okay, wait, we did it. We were going maybe west. Ecria. Oh, is that Ecria over to the west? And Burnt Oak Station, yeah, it's due east of us. That's where our contact is from our grandma. I'm assuming grandma. I don't know. She could be my mom. She could be anybody. I don't know, it could even not be blood related. Um, Balfron Connection, the whale is southwest. Oh my gosh, I want to go see the whale too. Okay, 
Listen, we're doing uh, we're doing a journey on our own terms, and oh, yes, I was like I couldn't remember. Oh, there she is! I remember her name, Sea Wound. I don't know why, but I do remember my my vehicle's name. Straight. Okay. Um, shoot, which way am I going? Can I not? Oh, my bad. Um, I do want to go west, which was the red one. To Ecria. I figure the controller might actually make these, these parts look better where I'm flying around. Oh my gosh, it is, it is backwards though. I think? No? Am I just, just dumb? Sometimes the... I get... I, I think I mix it up in almost every game I play, like which way to look. <laughs> like, I don't know, how am I... I'm not saying it right. Um, like how flight controls can be like backwards and that's like a natural thing where like you lift... See? Like, I'm, I'm, I, to me, that should be, I should be lifting up, not down. But I can, I can see both ways, and so I think it confuses me. Anyway, that didn't make any sense, I apologize. Those flight controls mess me up sometimes, is what I'm trying to say. Nice! There's, there should be people here. How do I get up? There we go. I was like, I, it should pop up. <laughs> Oh, water. Oh my gosh, that's water. Oh. Is that, is that healthy water? I don't know. So it should be... Yeah, it's on my map now, isn't it? Oh, here. Mm. There. I think that was just marking Acrea. Oh my gosh, no, shoot, look at this. There is actually... Look at this. It is some sort of snake-like shaped machine. But it is in Ecria. Nice. I don't see how I could get in except by maybe floating. Look at my new ritual outfit, everyone. I feel like this is this is one of those this is that big town everybody keeps mentioning, I'm pretty sure. Again, it's kind of been a while. <gasps> Machines? Oh my gosh, machines. I'm taking it, nope. Oh, person, I know, I was kind of looking for a person. I was like, there has to be a machinist somewhere here. Hello. Bike merchant Ovid needs something fast, reliable, both. Neither, we've got all, sort of part all sorts of bike parts just for you, glider. What's going on? <laughs> Power is down in town. It's down. Pays to have a quick ride out right now. Lots of folks are looking to head out if things don't get back to normal soon. Oh, that's crazy. This is a big town. Take care. I didn't even realize. I haven't even been in. Trade? A color. I need to figure out how to... I did, I did see something about this that you can, um... Ooh, biker top. Oh, I do love the clothes, but I did see, I think, something about you could upgrade, like, get parts for your bike, and I'm like, oh, sick, this is like a modular thing. Used for hauling gear by couriers. Getting the balance of the bike cart before setting off is very important. Mmm, courier, that's another one I could do. Heavy wings used by salt farmers. I could be a salt, I could just be a straight up salt farmer, that's crazy, I, I kind of assume anyway. Delivery drivers. Oh, so if I was trying to carry packages, because I do wobble around a lot. My bike wobbles around. And when I hit, like, bumps, I'm like, Bleh, you know? So, <laughs> sorry, that was totally not even a professional. I, it's, it's, very, it's very shaky. It's a shaky ride. So if I carried packages, it seems like they would potentially fall off unless I got something like this. 
subtle control movements at high speed. Oh my gosh, I can pull stuff? Well, I'm wondering, some of this has to be not compatible, you know, like, but this obviously seems like a set, right? Like, you have the giraffe set, the speedster set, the delivery bike set, the salt bike set. But I wonder, you could, you could obviously modulate it, too. It's a little unwieldy if you aren't towing anything. Fascinating. Thank you, thank you. You've been kind. Thank you. Alright, I'm here to save the day, potentially. Person. Excuse me, excuse me. Whoa, these freaking chickens! They just push me all over the place. Sarai Merchant Josh, the whole of Ecria is on edge. Not good for business, I tell you. Even my regulars aren't coming now. What's going on? There's been a bit of a ruckus around the power supply in the town. There ain't none. Rumors of all sorts going around. Maybe it was the merchants in the market. Maybe it was an outsider. I'm sure the townies would love to blame us, Sarai. Oh, we have, like, city dynamics. Interesting. Luckily, outsider business for fruit is still going a bit slower, but Sarai don't have to worry too much about power out here. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, hang on, hold, hold on a second. Yeah. Trade. What? Undoubtedly my favorite fruit. The first thing I would have asked for when we passed traveling merchants with the Ibexi. Okay. Melancholy mushroom. Very helpful in repairing things. Okay, good to know that there's these things. You're not talkable to. Hello, hello. You, Glider, my name is Mass. I have a problem and I wonder if you could help me. He has a voice like burnished steel, despite the softness he tries to inject into his entreaty. The tone of a man more used to orders than requests. Oh, okay. I gesture for him to continue. I can at least hear him out. It's my son, he sighs. He's being held by the Ekrin God. They caught him tampering with the water supply. He puts a hand up to reassure me before I can speak any doubt. He was only trying to tap the supply, not taint it. He aimed to bring us a better source of water, one that would benefit us immensely. Uh, I mean, like the water supply in town? Or like a water supply outside? Because if you're messing with the water supply in town, I feel like, yeah, that they have every right to be like, no, stop, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> like, it's being hopefully equitably distributed. But if it was outside of town, then I feel like it's anybody's game. Kind of. By Ekrin law, this is illegal, yes. But if we followed Ekrin law, we'd all die of thirst waiting on some functionary to make the slightest effort. He sighs and crosses his arms, taking a step back. It is hard to tell if he's already defeated or just trying to tamp down some rising hope. I won't work to convince you. It sounds like too much, I understand. But someone needs to stand against this. And for several reasons, it cannot be me. Not this time. Can you help? I'll help. I'm not sure what I expect, but I saw the solemn nod I received catches me off guard. He steps closer to me and places a hand on my shoulder. Am I joining a rebellion group? Oh no. <laughs> you can't just drop something on me like that afterwards. There is something else, something you must know, and I hope I will not break the bond we've made. Have you ever heard of tell of the Shade of Ecria? Uh, no. The Shade of Ecria, a hero of the people, and a bind of those who would subjugate them. Dark as the night itself, smooth as black silk, and fueled by the flames of vengeance, a legend in this wretched city. Is there, like, oppression going on? I feel like I'm hopping into something without even knowing what's going on. I haven't even made it into the city proper yet. I'm only on the outskirts. Though to ask the guard or those who line their pockets, the Shade is a menace and a smuggler. I ask what he thinks. I think he was a man doing his best to right the wrongs of the powerful, but I might be biased. You were the Shade! Yeah, I did! <laughs> I barely have time to look impressed before he adds, and as for today, so you get what? Yeah, what? When I retired, I hid the mask. Oh, a mask, okay, I'm in. <laughs> but even though the Shade was gone, the rumor of the legend persisted. A glider could not convince the guards to free my son, but the Shade? Oh, at the mere sight of him, they are liable to give you whatever you want. Mass points to the markings in a nearby wall. See this? Head to the town gate and look for the symbol. It will lead you to the mask. Collect the mask and return to me, then we stage the rescue. Farewell, glider. Excuse you! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Um, the symbol on... What wall? This? That symbol? 
Hello, I have no idea what I'm doing. Gary is a climber in Ecria. He smells awful and his mask is about to fall off. Is he drinking? Looks like he's drinking. Or hi? Or hi. Listen here. I gotta get I gotta get both sides of the story. If you're just if this guy over here is trying to cause anarchy, that's like not cool. Like in a in a in a situation like this, I don't know, you see a lot of it, it gets very what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say seven things at once. You see a similar example potentially in The Last of Us. It's a more recent, uh, like, t the TV show, anyway. I didn't, I didn't play the video game. Um, but where the inner, like, the, the towns or whatever, the, like, com compounds, um, are very stringently managed. And, like, they'll, they're liable to shoot you on sight for anything. You know, for almost, for breaking whatever rule they think you're breaking or whatever, you know? But, like, so at one point I was like, no, nah, I'd rather be on the outskirts trying to live on my own, blah, 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 blah. But then you run into the bandits out there and they are completely lawless. Like, horrific. Like, and it, they make the, like, sort of, like, almost like Nazi regime of the compounds, like, and that's potentially, like, too much of an example of, like, too uh, overblown of an example, but, like, I think that they actually use that example in the TV series, which is why I brought it up, but, um, it almost makes that look better by comparison, you know, because, like, if you get caught by, like, um, the compound people, like, at least you'll just be shot, you know, um, but if you're caught by, like, the bandits, like, terrible things can happen to you, and living within... Like, the people who get kicked out of those, like, wall compounds are the ones who generally are very, like, for one thing, you get unfair, unfair cast-outs, right? But then you get the ones who legitimately cannot interact in a, so, in a social setting, who are, like, way, way outside the, like, social realm of, like, uh, what is it, like, interactability and, like, uh compromise and like the ability to work together as a group essentially because each person in that compound is like they, they had to contribute in some way and if you cannot like contribute or if you're like making a ruckus for no reason like they're going to kick you out so it often is like the troublemakers being kicked out and then they band together under potentially a charismatic or powerful or cruel leader and it just goes from there anyway i shouldn't be like I shouldn't be pontificating necessarily on all of this, but what I'm thinking right here anyway is that like while rules can be strict, especially in survival situations like this, like the zombie apocalypse in The Last of Us, and in this one like it's a harsh desert environment with few resources, it happens in Horizon Forbidden West and in Horizon Zero Dawn, where it's like you're in these harsh survival situations and certain stringent rules have to be maintained in order for like I'm trying to think of a word this whole time and it's not like coming to me, but like society cohesive, like societal cohesiveness, you know, like for people to work together to survive and like it may seem harsh in some ways, but like it's, it, it you could argue that it's necessary. I think you could definitely make an argument that it's not necessary too. I think in Skyrim is always a good example where it's like, um, you end up thinking, oh, the rebellion, yeah, it's like, you gotta side with the rebellion, obviously, like, you think that that's always what you're supposed to do in video games, right? It's like, yeah, the rebellion, rising up against the powers that be, but sometimes the powers that be are just trying to do their freaking best and just have the problems of a bureaucracy, whereas the rebellion in Skyrim is led by, like, a racist jerk <laughs> who wants, like, to kick out all the immigrants out of Skyrim, you know, and it's like, oh, it, I, I love that, that it kind of twisted that, that expectation on its head because you're always expecting to be like in a video game, right? Like the scrappy underdog trying to fight against the big man or whatever. But sometimes the powers that be really are just trying to do their best, you know? I don't know. Anyway, that was really too long, but here we go. They've lost power in town, the merchants have started hiking their prices, and now I can't afford my tea. That's a travesty. A travesty. I am noticing these beautiful, like, blown glass accoutrements so this is like the merchant's quarter do i have like a close-up okay out here in the south what i'm gonna i'm gonna pick up one of these cuckoos and i'm gonna fly what is wow these are very cool I'm still kind of on the outskirts, I know. 
Uh, oh, that's another symbol right there. Are you stuck? You look, you look stuck. No power means no filtered water. The oasis water isn't clean enough to drink on its own. Okay. Oh, no power means no filtered water. Okay. Um, what do you want me to do with this? I cannot climb up. I am pretty sure. Okay, I maybe could have made it, and then I could rest up top and jump to that. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. I said something about following it, but there's this building over here. Oh, I need to check my time, dang. Oh, okay, yeah, time's almost up. Oh, hello, guards, guards. I do love your armor. Nope, I did not, I'm not trying to be a hooligan. I can't believe I got sucked into a rebel. I haven't even been inside the city. I haven't even been inside. I don't even know what's going on. And he's like, now you are. Again, I'm trying to. There's like, there's like a bunch of um, parallels and like Dragon Age and stuff like that where you're like the secret hero of the city or whatever. And it's like, wait. <laughs> I don't know what I've gotten myself into. <laughs> I literally just got here. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, oh man, I'm like trying to make this really hard on myself, but it looks like I could just, just walk into the city. Maybe I go up top. Oh, okay. I think there's. I just. I keep. I do that on accident where I like launch myself. Ooh. Okay. I'm sure there was a better way to do that, but. Anyway, before we go into the city, I guess I will call this one here, but thank you all for joining me. I hope this is working. Um, if not, I'll be very sad. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rescalito, my sapling tier patron, and Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you both so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I hope to see... Oh, wait, no, freak! I almost forgot Christopher. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got distracted because I started reading, I started reading the text on the screen and my brain just like went auto, autopilot. But... I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate. So thank you so, so much for your support. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.